Today, I take you to one of the most beautiful places on our planet. A marvel of nature that was formed after the last ice age. It is today one of the most visited places on Earth. Amongst the wettest places, its beauty will keep you spellbound. Come join me as I explore Milford Sound, the natural wonder situated in the Fiordland National Park in South Island, New Zealand. I'm going to Milford Sound today and it's going to be a very exciting trip. The takeoff from the Queenstown International Airport was smooth. And I was told to expect great views from the start. It was cold outside and I was enjoying creating impressions of my palm on the glass window. The narrow stream down in the valley below is actually such a great place for whitewater rafting. Next time I take this flight, it will be after the snow season. Imagine the view then. For now, I am enjoying the feeling of being on top of the clouds. The first sight of the Tasman Sea meant that we were approaching Milford Sound. Milford South is fjord. Let me explain what a fjord is. I landed at the Milford South Airport and clicked myself with the captain and his machine. The boat trip is about to begin and I'm very excited. I entered the boat and straight away made my way up to the upper deck. What is the first thing I get to see? Isn't that a gorgeous waterfall? How beautiful! Welcome to the rain. Milford Sound is one of the wettest places on Earth. It rains 190 days a year. The rainforest around here is thanks to an annual rainfall of over 6,400 millimeters. Situated in the Fjordland National Park in New Zealand, Milford Sound has two peaks, the elephant and the lion. In front of us is the lion. Milford Sound is so deep in certain places that five Eiffel Towers can be vertically placed. The shadows and the hues created by the sun make Milford Sound visually stunning from all directions. The rainforest around Milford Sound is home to many species of birds, including the only flightless parrot found in the world. The Maori name of Milford Sound is also derived from a bird.
One of the most amazing things about this place is the number of beautiful waterfalls you get to see. On a rainy day, you can see hundreds of temporary waterfalls. Now, let me tell you about a scientific wonder of this place. The water sometimes moves upstream at Milford Sound after heavy rainfall and on a particularly windy day. The water cascading over the mountains has been known to be blown upwards by strong gales caused by the shape of the inlet. As the captain was steering the boat towards the Tasman Sea, my eyes were feasting on the postcard-like views. It was time to catch up with my captain. How long have you been riding this boat? Uh, about eight years. Wow, eight long years. Has global warming been changing this place? Not, not noticeably, not over the, the eight years that I've been here, but some of the glaciers that are within the fjord are definitely getting smaller. What can kids like me do to prevent global warming? Oh, I think there's a few things that you can do. Uh, recycling, using public transport, uh, and just reducing, reducing the, the waste that we create in our day-to-day -day lives. Take care of uh, the plants and animals, kids. Uh, it's, our, it's our planet, we need to protect it, we need to look after it to, uh, for future generations to come. The captain was kind enough to give me his binoculars so I could enjoy even more spectacular views. The deck was full of amazing scientific instruments to help him navigate thoroughly. We were passing by one stunning waterfall after another to meet some special friends. The New Zealand first seals can run at a speed of 20 km per hour and dive up to 200 meters into the sea. Seems that they too were enjoying the good weather today. The snow-capped mountain you can see at the distance is the Maita Peak, which is about 1690 meters tall and it is very difficult to climb. take you to the most beautiful point at Milford Sound. On my way back, I went through the map of the region and also read about the Maori legend on the formation of Milford Sound. I will never ever forget this trip in my life! 
Back up in the sky, I realized by Rudyard Kipling fell in love with this stunning place. Our planet is the most beautiful of all planets. It is our duty to take care of it. Bye bye friends, meet me next at the Bay of Islands.